The biggest mistakes that I see people make when using ChatGPT is not being as descriptive as possible. You see, the way that ChatGPT works is the quality of input that you enter directly correlates to the quality of output that you get back from the AI. So essentially, the more descriptive and detailed that you can be with your inputs, the higher the quality will be when you get your outputs back from ChatGPT. So in today's video, I'll be going over some of the most powerful prompts that you can use to allow you to maximize the quality of output that you're able to get back from ChatGPT. If you're unfamiliar with what a prompt is, essentially it's a formula in which you can follow and input that into ChatGPT to help you get better results. And of course, you'd want to customize that prompt uh, to include your specific scenario or type of content in which you're generating. So for instance, the first type of prompt in which we'll be taking a look at will be marketing prompts. So you can use these marketing prompts to help you generate marketing plans, uh, sales plans or sales strategies. And you can also use these prompts to generate copy um, for your businesses. An example of a marketing plan prompt would be asking the ChatGPT AI to create a marketing plan for your business, specializing in whatever you do, targeting a specific audience to buy the product or service in which you're promoting. So in order to use this prompt, you want to copy the formula and then you want to head over to ChatGPT, paste the formula in, and then you want to replace um, any of the generic information with your specific information. So we would like to create a marketing plan for a real estate agent specializing in first time home buyers targeting, and this is where you'll enter your audience. So for this example, we'll do um, 18 to 35 year olds to buy. And this is where you'll enter your product or service. So for this example, it will be to buy their first homes. So we've used the formula, but we've customized it for our specific use case. So let's go ahead and click enter and take a look to see what is um, the output in which we'll get back from ChatGPT. And here's the output in which we got back from ChatGPT. As you can see here, we got a pretty comprehensive step-by-step -step marketing plan for a real estate agent. And this is a real life example of how your inputs could really affect your outputs. For the first um, generation, I just asked it to create a marketing plan. Um, and this is the outputs in which we got back. But when I actually added in the word step by step, as you can see here, we got a much more comprehensive um, output from the AI. So if I were to create a marketing plan for any type of business, this would be the formula in which I would follow. And then I would just replace any of this um, information with information that is more catered towards what you're trying to generate for. Another example of a marketing prompt could be asking the AI to create an inbound sales strategy for your company that specializes in creating specific products and services for a specific audience. So this could look like asking the AI to create a step-by-step -step inbound sales strategy for a company that specializes in creating custom pools in wealthy neighborhoods. So again, I would just go ahead and hit that um, into ChatGPT and then take a look to see what the output will be like. But again, you want to include those keywords such as step by step, comprehensive, um, just be as descriptive as possible when including your inputs. And you also want to be as descriptive as possible when it comes to the company, the products and or services in which you're selling, and also the audience in which you're targeting. There you go. This is the output in which we got back from ChatGPT. We got 10 specific steps that we can take to create an inbound sales strategy for this specific business. A couple other marketing or business specific prompts that you can use with ChatGPT are asking it to generate a script for a 30 second commercial promoting our new product, write a persuasive email to convince potential customers to try our service, write a script for our training video on how to use our software, get a list of potential blog post ideas from our company's websites, generate a script for social media, write a script for an explainer video about our new product, create a list of potential influencers to collaborate on social media, write a script for virtual events, generate a script for TV commercials to increase our brand awareness, create a list of potential topics for a company newsletter, create a follow-up email to send to potential clients after a meeting, write a daily to-do list for the sales team using this data and you would input that specific data so it would have the context uh, to generate that daily list from, generate a daily summary of customer feedback, and lastly, create a task list for the marketing team. As you can see, there's a bunch of very useful and specific prompts that you can use for business and marketing purposes. If you'd like to uh, take a look at this full blog post, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. In addition to marketing or business specific prompts, you could also use chat GPT prompts to answer questions relating to SEO or keywords. For this example, I've asked the AI to compile a list of 10 long tail keywords related to email marketing. So long tail keywords are essentially um, longer words or sentences that will include your target keyword. So essentially we're looking for variations of the keyword 
um, that's related to email marketing. So we can see here we got some long tail keywords such as email marketing for small businesses, email marketing automation software, email marketing best practices, and so on. So again, you can replace email marketing with any one of the keywords that you're doing research on. Another SEO or keyword specific prompt would be asking the AI to create a comprehensive list of what topics you would need to include in your blog post to rank for a specific keyword. For this example, I asked the AI to create a list of what topics you need to include in your blog post to rank for the keyword best watches for beginners. And as you can see here, we got some topics that you need to include within your article or blog post if you would like to rank for that specific keyword. So that's another prompt that you can use if you're using ChatGPT for SEO or keyword purposes. Other more general SEO or keyword prompt is asking the AI to provide suggestions for how you can improve your search engine optimizations for your specific blog or website. In this example, I asked the AI to provide suggestions for how you can improve the SEO on your blog, which talks about vegan supplements. So we can see here that we got um, some specific SEO recommendations that you can follow to improve your website or blog. The next type of chat GPT prompts are specific for coders or developers. So if you're a developer or a coder, you can ask the AI to write a function in Python or whichever coding language you're using to calculate the factorial of a given number. So that's one of the prompts in which you can use. Another prompt that you can use is asking the AI to write a Python script to scrape data from a website and save it into a CSV file. And again, you can change this to any coding language that you're using. If you're looking to create a custom tool or software, you can ask the AI to give you a step-by-step -step code that you need to follow if you would like to create a specific tool or software that allows you to do whatever function you would like it to do. So for example, I can ask the AI to list me a step-by-step -step code that I need to follow if I would like to create an AI copywriter that writes blog posts uh, in just a couple of clicks. And as you can see here, the AI will go ahead and give you those specific um, paths or those specific steps that you need to follow to create that tool or software. And again, you can customize this for whatever use case you would like it to be. You can ask the AI for step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a specific Chrome extension, WordPress blogging, or any ideas for any tool or software that you have. The next type of prompts that we'll be taking a look at are health-specific prompts. So for instance, I asked the AI to calculate how many calories I would need to eat per day if I weigh 200 pounds and I would like to lose 20 pounds in 45 days. And as you can see here, it actually gave us the formula that you need to follow if um, you would like to calculate how much uh, you can lose in terms of weight for a specific time. Another health specific prompt that you can use is listing out the ingredients that you have for a specific dish and asking the AI to create a recipe for you that's low carb, that's low in fat, or that fits into whatever diet that you're following. First, you would list the ingredients that you have, then you would ask the AI to create a specific recipe that follows um, the diet in which you are currently on. The next type of prompts that we'll be taking a look at will be educational specific prompts. So if you're a student or you're in college, uh, you can use these prompts to help you get better content when using ChatGPT. So for example, you can ask the AI to generate a list of potential essay topics for a specific assignment name or a blog post topic in which you're trying to write about, along with a brief outline of the main points to be discussed. Of course, you can change the topic to whichever topic that you're writing about. For this example, I change it to democracy. And as you can see here, we got a list of potential essay topics for democracy with a brief outline of the main points to be discussed. So this will help you get set up if you're um, having to write an essay for school or for college. And here's a couple other really useful educational prompts that you can use on ChatGPT. You can ask the AI to solve a specific math problem and explain each step in detail on how you solved it. You can ask the AI to teach you any theory and include a test at the end, but don't give you the answers. You can also ask the AI to generate you a daily study schedule for the next week, including specific times for each subject and add breaks or activities planned. And the last type of chat GPT prompts that we'll be taking a look at will be focused on fictional content and storytelling. For example, you can ask the AI to write a poem about any specific topic using metaphors and imagery to invoke emotion. So this example talks about love and loss, but you can replace this with any um, sort of poem that you would like to write. So you can ask it to write a poem about fighting, about war. You can ask it to write a poem about AI or uh, whatever content that you would like to write an, uh, a poem about. You can do that by using this template here. You can also ask the AI to generate you a short story 
about a specific topic and you can be as descriptive as you like. You can ask the AI to write you a script for a music video that tells the story of heartbreak and redemption. You can ask the AI to create a sonic about any topic that you have in mind using vivid, imaginary, and rhyme, and so on. As you can see, there's a bunch of different prompts that you can use to help you get the best quality of output when you're generating songs, poems, or fictional content. So those are some of my favorite chat GPT prompts. Let me know in the comments below which ones you like the best. Also, let me know if there's any specific prompts that you're using that I haven't mentioned in this video. As always, I hope that you learned something new and I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.